The Good, the Bad, and the Spooky by Jory John and Pete Oswald. I'm in a bad mood. A bad mood. Oh yeah, it's true. You want to know why I'm feeling so crummy right now? Huh? Do you? Well, it's Halloween, which is my favorite holiday. I wait all year for this very evening. But listen to this. I don't have a costume yet. Look around. Nothing works. What a travesty. Ah! I promise I didn't wait until the last minute. I've been thinking about costumes for weeks. And I honestly gave it my best shot. For instance... I've already tried dressing up as a ghost. I can't see. And a vampire. I can't talk. And a robot. I can't move. Everything looks so uninspiring. It turns out that putting together a perfect, original, show-stopping costume is basically impossible. Halloween used to be so much fun. My friends and I would all get dressed up together... Oh, the memories. One year, we were a rock and roll band. The next year, we went as our favorite condiments. Oh, and then there was the time we went as a carton of eggs. We were cracking up all night. But things changed, as they often do. Time marched on. We all got a little older, a little more independent. And I just can't shake the feeling that everybody... And I mean everybody is going to outdress me this year. After all, I live on a sunflower in a field where everyone takes Halloween very seriously. Very seriously. You have no idea. No idea. See? How can I compete with that? And that. And that. And what the heck is that? I just can't stand it. And that's why I'm in a bad mood. A bad mood. With a bad attitude. Sheesh. There's only one thing I can think of that will even things out. I need to trick everybody into thinking Halloween has been postponed until tomorrow night. Yeah. Then I'd have a bit more time to get my costume together. Excuse me, out of my way, please. Oof, coming through. Hey! Well, I never... Pardon me. Seed on a mission here. Attention, everybody. Um, let's see. Um, there's a big thunderstorm on the way. That's right, a storm. And so, uh, squirrels! A herd of seed-eating squirrels is racing towards us. Yikes! Watch out, squirrels and rain and thunder. Not a good combination. So for your safety, please head home this instant. We'll resume Halloween tomorrow night. Gosh. That sounds... spooky. Bummer. There, that should do it. No more competition, no more hurt feelings, and most importantly, no more costumes. What a relief. I beg your pardon? Yes, what is it? If I may be so bold, it seems like you're not enjoying yourself this evening. As a fellow seed, in fact as a pumpkin seed, I know all about the pressures of Halloween. But listen, Halloween is... But listen. Halloween is about more than costumes and candy, Mr. Seed. It's about crunching through the autumn leaves. It's about decorations. It's about togetherness. And it's about community. Look around. This is all supposed to be fun. But... Nobody really cares what you're wearing. We're just here to have a good time. Look at us. We made these costumes in about five minutes, and we're having a blast. Just something to think about. Goodbye, Mr. Seed. Sheesh! Is it possible that I've overreacted? Have I made too big of a deal out of something trivial? 
I suppose I have been taking my bad mood out on everybody else today. Maybe nobody's really paying attention to my costume. Perhaps Halloween doesn't need to be a competition after all. Huh. Hmm. Huh? I've made a big mistake. But maybe it's not too late. Attention everybody, me again, and I have some good news. Halloween is back on. There's no storm after all, and there are no squirrels barreling towards us. This was all a big trick. Get it? Ha ha. You may continue getting treats now. Yay! Hooray! It's candy time. Um, <clears throat> I've made a big decision. I'm going to worry less about things that don't really matter. Not just on Halloween, but on other days too. I just needed somebody to talk some sense into me. Now I'm not in such a bad mood anymore, and I don't have such a bad attitude anymore. As for my costume, well, I'll figure something out. Later that same evening, hello again, check it out, I'm a squirrel, pretty spooky, right? Boo! And, um, if you have the space, I'd love to join you. Of course, you see? It doesn't take much to have a good time on Halloween. Wee! Well, Mr. Seed, I'm glad you finally got into the spirit of Halloween, and we haven't gotten to the best part of the night yet. Take a look around. Wow, now this is a treat. A treat for everybody. Indeed, Mr. Seed. Indeed. Happy Halloween to us all. The end. Thanks for watching, and happy Halloween. Boo! It's Halloween, and Bad Seed is in a bad mood. A bad mood. With a bad attitude. The Bad Seed looks forward to Halloween every single year. In fact, it's his favorite holiday. But this time, it's different. All the good costumes are taken, and now finding an original, show-stopping outfit is basically impossible. Sheesh. So the Bad Seed takes matters into his own hands and plays a big trick on everyone. But will his sneaky plan succeed? Get ready for the good, the bad, and the spooky, as one seed finally learns the true meaning of Halloween.